guys, Johnny here back with another video. Today I'll be talking about the MacBook Pro Retina and eGPU setup. Now there really isn't much to say here uh, if you saw my other eGPU videos. It's an eGPU setup for a retina display and it really makes gaming feel awesome with that 2560 by 1600 display. Quality and performance uh, has been great overall with the eGPU setup, especially with the Thunderbolt 2 uh, which has 20 gigabytes per second transfer rates as opposed to my previous videos with Thunderbolt 1, which has 10 gigabytes per second transfer rates. Now you may be thinking, oh great, sounds like uh, eGPU setups are pretty great with uh, MacBooks. And no, I can no longer say that that is the case. Um, the eGPU setup has been failing on me consistently uh, in the past while uh, since I purchased the MacBook Pro. Uh, I have had issues just getting Windows to boot up with the uh, eGPU connected um, I'm always counting on luck that I won't have to be uh, sitting here for an hour trying to get my MacBook to start up with the eGPU connected. Um, so thinking I could solve this differently, I uh, boot camped my MacBook uh, Pro and uh, I tried from there and the results came even worse. I cannot even boot with the eGPU connected and uh, for some reason now the eGPU wants to plug and play rather than uh, boot up and play. Um, so I plug in the eGPU while the Mac is on in Windows 10 and the computer recognizes the GTX 950 but whenever I try to watch a video or play a video game the computer doesn't know how to use the eGPU the um yeah the eGPU. Ugh. So am I still recommending the eGPU uh, set up with the MacBook Air or MacBook Pro and no, I cannot say that I am, guys. The eGPU setup uh, with the MacBook has become too much of a hassle uh, for me to even get some game time in. So what am I doing instead? That's right, I'm playing on the integrated graphics with everything on low because that is the only way I can play video games at the moment. Rather than spending 15 minutes to possibly an hour, I would prefer to just play my video games like Overwatch on integrated graphics at low settings. Uh, what is my recommendation? Uh, simply just buy a gaming laptop or just build or buy a desktop um, PC and you'll, you'll just be much better off. Um, and performance and everything will be much better. And if you're just really into portability and everything, just get the Razer Blade Stealth. Um, the support will be tremendously better than the non-existing support for the MacBook line. Uh, what about the new 2016 MacBooks? Will they support your GPUs? And you know, um, they might possibly. Um, I mean, I can't really say. Um, considering it's Apple, I wouldn't expect it. Apple doesn't seem to give its customers what they want, like ever. So, you know, just, just don't expect it. <laughs> Hopefully in the next month we can see some better integrated graphics or dedicated graphics in these new 2016 MacBook Pros. You know, I've like heard some weird rumors about like touchscreen keyboards and stuff like that and I'm just hoping that the performance is much better and that the new laptop doesn't look completely ridiculous. Hey guys, so just really my recommendation is don't get the eGPU set up for the MacBook Pro or MacBook Air or whatever Mac you have. Just don't do it unless you are technical and you are good with like tech and just messing with hardware and stuff like that because it's really just gonna be annoying as heck and it's just gonna be a real pain and you're not going to have fun trying to get it to work. I just installed like new drivers and uh, these new drivers, um, I thought they would maybe help and they actually didn't help at all. And so, you know, it's really just, um, I don't know if it's my combination of hardware, but right when I got this MacBook Pro, um, 13 inch that I'm holding here, I like everything just went bloom and it just, it just doesn't work anymore like it used to. Um, the eGPU support, or not support, but the eGPU um, just doesn't work as great with this. If you guys want a, want an eGPU setup, just get a Razer Blade Stealth and the Razer Core. I'm sure it'll be much happier. Um, I might be doing the same thing, or I'll be getting a gaming laptop. You know, maybe one day integrated graphics will be really amazing and we won't exactly need the external graphics unless we want to do like VR gaming or something like that. And maybe in the future it'll be more affordable, maybe they'll finally include mobile GPUs like in the 15 inch laptops. 
Maybe one day they'll start putting in them in like 13 inch laptops. Not a bad idea, right? Um, nobody's done it really that much and it would be really awesome because portability is a big deal and that's basically why so many things cost so much, especially with computers. Performance and small devices would be awesome. People that make tech, you know, just keep that in mind. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Later.